Welcome back to Supreme Family Garden and today we are doing an unboxing of our pet incubator. Yes, I said pet incubator. There is such a thing. Anyway, so the model we have is the Cradle Pet Broder 90, previously known as a Pet Broder ICU. This is the new and improved version. Now guys, if you breed anything, um, dogs, cats, kittens, um, birds, reptiles, this is something that I think is the most important thing to have. Yes, it's a large investment, but it's worthwhile. It's, this is a lifesaver. This will save, also save you a lot of money. And I don't have, we don't have money to throw away. So we invested in this pet rotor. So I'm gonna go through in the control panel and show you and explain what these buttons are. It looks like it's a lot of buttons. It looks complicated, but trust me, it is not complicated at all. I already took it out of the box because the box was kind of bulky, but it's pretty lightweight and we have it sitting on the table. Um, but I'm gonna get to everything and explain what everything is. We're still learning this machine, but so far it's actually, it's awesome. The best investment we, we could have done for our business. So um, without further ado, let's get into explaining this incubator. It's pretty high tech, actually it looks pretty high tech. Now folks, this is for pets, 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 pets. Do not put your sick child in the incubator because this is Supreme's channel, but do not put your pet in there and say Supreme said so or his wife said so because I didn't. Do not put your babies in here. This is strictly for pets, P-E-T-S, any kind of pets, okay? I will consult the manual or the website if you're questioning whatever pet you're breeding and you're not sure, but we do it, we were using this for bullies, bullies, dogs, okay? So let's get into the video. And we do have a little one in there, a newborn, um, and he's doing marvelous we're just trying to keep him nice and warm so oh uh this incubator is actually won't keep them warm and uh, i'm gonna get into that part of it okay because this does so much so let's go through the control panel the settings and what i have it set at um what i think is best for my puppies okay guys so let's uh, adjust the lighting here all right so this is the Corrado pet broader 90. see my little one there fast asleep okay so this comes with a pull out tray i'm not gonna pull it because he's in there but it pulls out for easy cleaning okay as you can see inside i'm gonna open this a little bit it opens here now the only thing folks this does not have a handle and i'm not sure why they didn't put a handle on this so you kind of have to put it up and it's kind of stiff because it's brand new and i can't really do it with one hand but over here is a filter you need a phillips screwdriver and to pull that out it's a little oh you know what let's go over here because guess what the light is on dim here you can control the light. So we're gonna turn it up to the brightest. It has five settings, okay? So this is your filter, and then you also have another one on this side, okay? You, for you to change out your filter, and it's suggested that you wash your filters um, once a week, okay? So let's close this back up. They should have had a handle on this. That would have been perfect. Anyway, so let's go to the control panel. I have mine set at 86 degrees because that is what I need Fahrenheit. You can do Celsius if you want to do Celsius. If you live in Canada or somewhere else, you can use Celsius. We're going to use Fahrenheit. So in order to set it, you push power. That's how you turn it on, power. To change the settings, you hit OK and you hold it and then you go up and down with the temperature i'm not going to do it and it also has a uh, control for humidity 
You also could use a nebulizer on this. Let me get closer. Here's your dimmer for your lights, sound, and here's where you change from Fahrenheit to whatever. And also here's the website if you need further information. So as far as the humidifier goes, that's all the, the, the and it tells you right here, heat, empty, and yon, okay? So everything is set. I have my humidity set at, it's 60 actually, so the humidity in there is 56, so that's still good. There's a range, so I'm leaving it within the range. Um, if you wanna see what you're set at, it's, it's right there, 60 and 86. It was 85, my husband probably moved it to 86. Anyway, right here is where you have uh, the hose, and this hose actually came with it, and this is where you set up for your humidifier. And it's recommended that you use distilled water, so we have a gallon bucket here, and I punched a hole on the top, and the hose is in there, and it sends the water through. And also there's a sensor that's inside, and you can't see it from here, but there's a sensor to tell you the humidity level. On this side, and it also has a cap that looks like this, but since the hose is in there, it's off. So you slide this off, and this is where you can hook up your oxygen and your nebulizer. Now, they did give us the oxygen hose. You have to get it yourself. You have to purchase it, but this is an adapter that you would put here. That came with it. You put there and then you hook your oxygen hose here. And of course you close that off, cap it off because you don't want to leave it open because then your oxygen won't get in the system. A little bit of common sense. So you hook your hose here and we do have an oxygen tank right there that we use if we need it. That we will use if we need it. You also have another adapter which is right here and that also pop that off and if you're not using this you pop this on and you cover it put the cover back on and that's how you keep it but we also have another adapter that you could use for the nebulizer now the nebulizer treatment we'll have to um, get a special cord for that connector where you put the the med medicine in we don't have that um, on hand right now but we are getting it and then to use your nebulizer this is the option for your nebulizer okay as you know with bullies and bulldogs sometimes they do have breathing issues at birth um it could be from anything so you know it's always good to have a nebulizer on hand but speak to your vet before you go and try and give your dog a nebulizer treatment all right now I'm going to show you what I did inside because you want to protect, even though they're in here, you want to protect them. You don't want to put them on the hard tray. You want to protect what you have. So what we've done is to prevent um, swimmer's feet, meaning your dog starts to walk funny because they you know, didn't really quite learn how to walk properly or flat chest syndrome. What I did was I took some puppy pads and I kind of made them in knots. I put a, a few of them and I lined the incubator with a bunch of them. So it's kind of lumpy. So it kind of, kind of gives the dog something to push off of and so it's not just slipping all over the place. And she is sleeping peacefully. right and it's, it's pretty sturdy I have a lot in there and I'll do another video on the nebulizer treatment another time how to hook it up once we get our nebulizer and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it with this it came plugged it in pushed the power button started adjusting the temperature and it took a little while to heat up didn't really take that long but as I sta stated it's really simple to use this machine very simple Okay, and if you forget that you're not supposed to put kids in there, there you go. It tells you everything right there. Do not put per a person inside this product. 
okay and you don't want to leave it open like this because all the air is going to come out now if you use using this and it's set at a certain temperature and it's too hot all you have to do is crack it open let some of the hot air out and it will keep the same temperature inside and then you could just close it up once it drops the temperature you just close it back up okay so we're gonna keep her closed for now she doesn't need the oxygen um so that's why that's not hooked up okay guys so thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe and if you do have any questions about the pet broda incubator you can just leave it in the comments and i will try and answer your questions if not you can check out the website go on amazon or google search you'll find it and do your research i got i saw a lot of positive review on this product that is why we chose this product there's several but this one um and actually i saw the same one at the vet's office so i figured if it's good for the vet's office then it should be good enough for us so guys thank you again for watching please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video and tune in for more videos on dogs and we're still gardening but this is just a part of what supreme family do we do it all okay thank you for watching bye <music>